The Uganda Nurses and Midwives Examinations Board, UNMIB, is set to hold its statistic series of examinations come 4th December 2023, where over 50,000 candidates are expected to sit for these exams. Among these are certificate and diploma holders, as the Executive Secretary UNMIB, Helen Mkasasura, highlights. These examinations will be held from 4th to 15th December 2023 in 121 schools. The total candidates expected to sit the examinations are 54,755. Following this, coordinators and monitors of these examinations have been briefed by the UNMIP on the required guidelines to follow during the examination period. In storage of the examinations, the board has introduced a black bag for practical examinations. This has been done to separate theory examinations, which will be in the gray box. For examination centers outside Kampala, the center coordinator, center supervisor, and at least one invigilator will be responsible for collecting each day's examination papers from the police stations. John Kennedy Makeda, the chairperson board of UNMIB urged the stakeholders to exercise professionalism while executing the duties entrusted to them. Our values include professionalism, integrity, confidentiality, quiet centeredness. As UNMIB representatives, we must be observed as well as so that UNMIB continues to excel within in the country and in the region. The Commission of Health Education and Training. Dr. Safi Namsene officiated the briefing and commended the coordinators for their dedication towards the health sector. She, however, appealed to the health institutions to give more time to students to clear their dues, but not to deter them from doing their examinations. You managed the teaching very well, both in the classroom and in the clinical areas, and you have prepared our students for examinations. Don't stop a government-sponsored student that has not cleared fees. Because as a government student, we can close one eye and we allow the student to do the exams and we demand for the balance after the exams. She further urged private institutions to avoid operating illegally since this will affect the quality of health workers produced to the country. But you are a place where you are working in a school and the license has expired. Are you a place for? You are in an illegal school. Okay. Going forward, we will not give you any service until you are presented an up-to-date license. The Uganda Nurses and Midwife examinations for the December semester will be held for two weeks in 121 centers across the country. Rebecca Nantongo, UBC News.